podcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Alrighty, good afternoon, folks, and thank you so, so much here for joining us. We have a tremendous amount of ground to cover here, but truly do welcome you all to this uh, presentation of going, going Polar, Antarctica, the Arctic, and the places in between. Of course, with a very exciting insight here into our 2023 lineup and itineraries. Uh, now, at the at the end of this presentation, please remain here with us. We will be covering all special offers, webinar specific discounts to attendees, uh, of course, uh, as well as that survey here for the $1,000 future travel credit contest. Uh, but with that all being said, I would like to formally uh, introduce uh, one of the hardest working individuals that I've ever met in my entire life here, a true asset here uh, to the Vantage Deluxe World Travel family. Uh, we have our Vice President of Worldwide Operations, Deirdre Dirkman, here to present on Going Polar, Antarctica, the Arctic, and places in between. Thanks, Doug. Thank you so much for your kind words. And welcome, everybody, to um, this month's edition of our exciting webinars. Um, we're going to today cover um, some different destinations that people might be um, considering traveling either later this year, once we get back on the road, or even in 2022, or perhaps you're even looking for some ideas on where to go next in 2023. Um, so many years ago, when I would first hear the idea of polar travel, um, my immediate reaction was, oh, only Antarctica, that's a polar region. Um, but in fact, when we actually say polar region, we are referring to anything in the Arctic region, anything in the Antarctic region. And the Arctic region um, actually encompasses eight countries, um, being mostly Scandinavia, Russia, the USA, Canada, um, Iceland, Denmark, um, many places there that uh, people can travel to. So we're going to cover a lot of uh, distance from pole to pole, basically, with the with the different itineraries that um, that we'll be traveling to over the next few years. Um, so for those of you who are new to Vantage, new to our webinar series, welcome. I'll just quickly go over a few um, brief bits and pieces about us, tell you a little about our story. Uh, we were founded almost 30 years ago um, by um, an American. Start, he started, uh, Mr. Henry Lewis started our small tour operator, uh, specializing and catering in small group tour experiences for mature travelers. Those of you who might um, already be retired, your family has grown up, and you have time to travel and explore the world after your, your job raising a family um, is completed. Um, so initially, we started out um, just with small river boats on the European rivers, and we then expanded to land adventures in places like Africa and Southeast Asia and the South Pacific, South America, um, gradually then moving on to small ship um, trips around the world, be it um, other rivers, island hopping in Greece, um, the Adriatic Sea, uh, various smaller destinations like that. And then a few years ago, um, we embarked on a project to build our own small ship ocean going vessels. So we are proud to be um, the new owners, or will be very shortly the new owners of two, two new vessels. Um, over the years, we have won many awards. Um, in particular, one that we're most proud of is our Solo Traveler Awards. Um, the Vantage fleet between our own river boats, our European river boats, our Nile river, river ships in Nebu, and now our new ocean vessels, um, we are the only fleet, full fleet, with 
custom built solo cabins. Um, so this is a very proud um, claim that we can make. Um, we understand that um, many people either um, travel by themselves, travel um, leaving their friends or family or spouse, uh, significant other behind, or maybe they um, just like to travel with other people and, and want to have their own cabin, but not necessarily paying the full price of a double cabin. So we have custom built single cabins or solo cabins. Um, in addition to that, many of our cabins uh, also have a discounted rate for a single person utilizing them. So they could get a bigger cabin or a cabin in a different location on a vessel um, throughout our entire fleet. On every single one of our land departures, be it Africa, South America, North America in our national parks, Australia, Mongolia, we have a limited number of free single supplements on every one of those departures as well. So if you're very flexible with your departure date, because these absolutely sell out very, very quickly, but if you are a little bit flexible with your dates, you can absolutely travel for um, just 50% of the double occupancy price um, or the double occupancy price as your uh, single self without having to pay any supplement or surcharge for traveling alone. So this is an exciting um, award that we have won in the past multiple occasions from the Solo Traveler Award. So as we move forward uh, today, we are highlighting some polar exploration trips. Um, I mentioned that we will soon be the proud owner of two new polar class vessels. We actually will take ownership um, this very week of our first vessel, the Ocean Explorer. So you'll come online and start sailing um, with the first passengers on board uh, in August for an itinerary in the British Isles. That will be our first inaugural sailing. And then she will cross the Atlantic on the first polar trip that we're going to travel um, on the Ocean Explorer. She's going to sail from Invergordon, Scotland, uh, past Iceland, Greenland, uh, the Faroe Islands, which are part of Denmark, and cruising down here home to Boston, where we can all welcome her with open arms. So reasons for us to visit the Arctic region. As I mentioned, the Arctic region is made up of eight countries, a lot of Scandinavia, Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Northern Russia, the USA, parts of Alaska are considered the Arctic region, parts of Canada, the Northwest Passage, um, Denmark, uh, being that Greenland is, is, is a, a Danish territory, the Faroe Islands, and then of course Iceland. Um, some really nice reasons if you're a photographer, some of the most extraordinary landscapes, views, wildlife, everything is to be, uh, to see, to be seen in these regions, absolutely stunning views. And also another reason that people um, like to visit the Arctic regions, apart from them being so untouched and less traveled than other um, parts of the world, um, tracing the footsteps of some of the great explorers that have gone before us. People like Roald Amundsen, James Cook, Jean-Baptiste Charcot, and Paul Emile Victor. Um, many of them you may or may not have heard of, but some of them have done um, traversing the Northwest Passage over Canada, various um, parts of the poles, be it North or South Pole. Um, these are very um, specialized itineraries and exciting itineraries that I myself am looking forward to taking. Um, I will be on our first um, Arctic voyage in, in September to bring the ship home here to Boston so we can all see. Um, so that, those are many of the reasons that people would like to take an Arctic cruise. Why would you cruise on a small ship? Why cruise on a small ocean ship? With Vantage, our ocean ships have only 77 cabins. That is a maximum of 139 guests. We have 15 solo cabins, which is a very large number in the industry of single cabins. We have adjoining cabins if you would like to travel with some family or friends and don't want to be too far. Maybe you'd like to just have the door open in the evenings between your two cabins so you can have a gathering, a party, 
spread out. Um, we have family cabins that allow for up to four guests. Traveling in a small ocean ship gives us a lot more access into smaller ports. When you consider a large ocean liner, can't get into smaller little ports, um, places along the East Coast, smaller islands, places in Croatia. Um, it, it's really, some of these are the places that you can only go by a smaller ship, such as the Ocean Explorer or the Ocean Odyssey. Traveling on a small ocean ship gives you a far more intimate experience. A lot less guests, um, a higher number of crew, but it also allows you to get much closer to nature. Um, we're not not just a, a smaller vessel as a whole, but the the um, experience traveling by zodiac and whatnot from the ship um, out to explore in the regions. And we also have a high passenger space ratio, which is a ratio within the industry that we use to estimate how how much personal space a guest would have when they are traveling at sea. And I'm delighted to say that um, our small ships have a very high passenger space ratio uh, in the 60 foot range, which is extremely high. Um, we also have a very high passenger to crew ratio with 139 maximum guests. On our expedition trips, we have 102 crew. So we're almost working on a one-to-one -one ratio um, between crew and passengers, which gives an elevated level of service that one cannot really expect on a larger cruise. So this, these are all um, big, uh, big reasons that someone would like to take a smaller ocean ship uh, trip and obviously on the foot of um, the past year and a half this is this is very important for a lot of people um, who want to get back into travel but don't want to be on a ship with three four five thousand people um, running around on our ships as well uh, basically a floating hotel we have spas salons um, we have kayaks, paddle boards, snorkels, and bicycles available for all of our guests to use. Um, paddle boards, snorkels, and bicycles are always available free of charge. We do have some kayak optional tours that I'll get into a little bit more once you get into some of the travel details. Um, some of those itineraries um, that include kayaking, uh, the kayaking excursion comes at an additional cost, um, but they are available. We also have a swimming pool on each of our vessels and multiple jacuzzis. So people can sit in the pool, swim up and down in their infinity pool or relax in the jacuzzis after a day of sightseeing um, or simply just chill out with a, a soda, a beer, a water, a glass of wine and just watch, watch the world sail by, literally. <laughs> um, in every single port that we're docked at, we also include excursions for everybody. These are optional. Um, included in the cost of your trip are the excursions, but your, your attendance on them is not mandatory. Guests are free to roam about and go wherever they want throughout the itinerary um, rather than taking uh, the planned excursions. Okay. Um, another reason to spoil yourself on a small ship ocean cruise <laughs> is uh, the number of suites that we have. And we like to say that we would encourage customers, our guests, to live the suite life. Um, with most of our um, suite cabins, and there are 10 on each of our ocean vessels, most of them include either a business class uh, ticket or a first class ticket, depending on the itinerary. Uh, we include private airport transfers from your home to your airport from the airport to the first point on the itinerary, which most of the time is a hotel. All guests will have a welcome bottle of champagne in their cabin upon boarding. We have a fully stocked mini bar. We allow them to have priority reservations for the spa services that we have throughout the cruise. And we also include complimentary laundry, which again, depending on the duration of your itinerary could become very, very handy. So, less packing to do. Another great reason for um, traveling with us on the small ship ocean 
is that 80% of our cabins have private verandas. That's a huge, huge number. The only cabins on our vessels that do not have a private veranda is one of our solo cabin types. We have two types of cabins for, the, for uh, single travelers. One has um, a portal window and the other types have verandas. We have 11 cabin categories to choose from, spread over four decks. We have 10 suites, six different categories of suites, so something to suit everybody's uh, taste. I mentioned before we have triple occupancy, adjoining cabins, family cabins, and also we have solo friendly options available in other categories because some of our solo cabins are indeed uh, sold out well in advance. Uh, some of our solo cabins already for 2023 are already sold out on some of our most, um, most popular itineraries. So these are some photos of our cabins and our setup, our dining experiences on our, on our ocean vessel also, having multiple dining options so all of our guests are not um, sitting practically on top of each other. Um, from top to bottom, we're looking at the main dining room located on deck five. Uh, we have an alternate dining experience, our hot rock dining um, on the top on our uh, deck eight. And we also have a smaller uh, specialty dining area also located on deck five off the main dining area. Um, but it is also perfect for groups or family gatherings, church groups large um, ladies clubs, knitting clubs, whoever, whatever groups are traveling together on our itineraries. These, it's an area that can be closed off where you can have your meetings and private dinners or celebrations throughout the, throughout the cruise. And in all of our dining areas, the tables are uh, flexible in that we can um, bring tables together or move them apart, two people see, seating areas, four people, six, eight, so on and so forth. So um, everything is very flexible for uh, dining options as well and experiences uh, throughout the itinerary. Traveling with Vantage, we give you the option to ch basically choose your own adventure. We have three different types of itineraries that we're offering on our ocean vessels. We offer our basic cultural discovery itineraries, a lot of um, lectures and museum visits and a um, cultural um, immersion throughout the itinerary. We have our light expedition for the slightly more adventurous uh, guests, a little more perhaps hiking, a little more uh, rocky walking, um, some zodiac exploration. And then we also have our full on expedition itinerary, which all of the all of the uh, excursions on shore for the most part are done by, by a Zodiac. Um, in places like Antarctica, the ship is not necessarily docked. Um, it's, uh, it's anchored or tender and people tender, the guests tender to the land to um, go, on, go on shore to make all their visits or they do their, their excursions from the ship directly out into the ocean um, to visit and see all the sites or the animals. Um, what not throughout the excursion. One of the things I'm most proud of with my group um, for all of our expedition itineraries, be it light expedition or our full expedition um, itineraries is our expedition staff. On each of our expedition itineraries, we also have a team of 20 specialized expedition leaders. Uh, zodiac cruising. We have 15 zodiacs on each of the on each of the ships, and each zodiac takes a maximum of 12 passengers. So more than one to one between the expedition team and the zodiac passengers on there. Our expedition staff have been working on leading expeditions for uh, 30 plus years in most cases. Yes, some of some of our <laughs> expedition staff here look a little younger than 30 years, but rest assured they have been um, doing this for a very, very long time. A lot of them serve as Antarctic ambassadors, adventure guides, wildlife experts, environmentalists. The majority of them are polar history experts and conservationists. 
So in addition to leading excursions um, by Zodiac, they also, um, some of them will be doing lectures, providing lectures throughout the um, expedition, um, be it wildlife, ornithology, um, history, um, any kind of subject matter that they are all very well versed <laughs> and trained and experienced in doing all of these, um, all of these tasks and and whatnot throughout throughout the excursion. Some of one of our um, excuse me, one of our expedition leaders, the leader of our expedition group, Jan, actually holds the world record for leading 33 expeditions to 90 degrees north, which is the geographic North Pole. <laughs> and he did this on Russian icebreakers, but he's the world record holder for that. So that's kind of very, very interesting. Um, and Jan has been um, leading our teams uh, for 30, more than 30 years within the travel industry. He's traveled to more than 125 countries um, with his group. Um, and he, he leads all of our expedition leaders combined. They have been to almost 170 countries between um, the 20 that will be on our vessels throughout the, throughout the excursions and expeditions we'll be operating. Another um, factor for our expedition group is our recent joining of IATO, which is the Association for uh, tour operators traveling to Antarctica. This is um, a member trade association that represents Antarctica and represents the tour operators and others that are um, conducting travel to Antarctica. Um, it basically um, has a specific mission to advocate and promote safe, um, responsible, environmentally responsible travel within Antarctica. They operate within the parameters of the Antarctic Treaty System. Um, they have um, continued um, cooperation between all of its members. We have quarterly meetings, town halls, um, there's a lot of forums that are provided and also they provide a core of ambassadors for protection of the Antarctic region, um, helping everybody with the staffing, training, certification, accreditation for our personnel, all of these items um, that allows us to safely and um, safely operate in some of the regions that we're traveling to. There is also a similar um, entity that operates on the North Pole side, I IACO, um, which have, have a similar setup, um, which is responsible for education and similar um, content, environmental protection and so on in the Arctic regions. So these are all very um, exciting uh, groups that we're proud to be members of, um, proud to be able to fly the flag of the uh, membership um, for these entities. Um, and hopefully they will, um, they will go a long way in, in training and support of our endeavors in, in both the Arctic and Antarctic region. So moving along to some of the exciting uh, polar itineraries that we will be offering both in 2021, 22, 23, and moving forward. As I mentioned, our vessels are polar class vessels, which means they have icebreaker qual qualities. Um, we will not be obviously leaving the vessels in polar regions year round, um, but we will have the capability to, to do that if we want it. Moving on to some of our most popular itineraries, um, everybody's favorite, my personal favorite, because I will be actually traveling to Antarctica for the first time this very year. Uh, Final Frontiers, Antarctica, South Georgia, and the Falkland Islands Expedition. This is a marvelous itinerary that allows um, guests to sail from Buenos Aires, Argentina, down through the Falkland Islands, South Georgia Island, all the way over to Antarctica. We have two departures in 2022, but there is still some space available for our voyage that departs just before Christmas of this year. So 
So if you are interested in spending Christmas in Antarctica, maybe this is the trip for you. As with all of our guests on this voyage, we do include three nights in Buenos Aires, uh, two on the front and one on the end of the trip. This will allow you to um, get accustomed to the jet lag and so on, the long journey down to South America, and prep then for your voyage south even further down to Antarctica. Uh, included in our tour package is the flight from Buenos Aires to Ushuaia or vice versa, depending on which direction you're sailing. The voyage also then, um, you can opt afterwards to either extend your trip to Iguazu Falls, Brazil, right on the border between Argentina and Brazil, or you can be a little more exciting and go to Easter Island off the coast of Chile, well, a few hours off the coast of Chile, um, but one night in Santiago, Chile, and some nights out on Easter Island before returning back to the mainland for another night and then flying back home to your uh, destination in North America. This itinerary does actually cross over the Arctic Circle. We have five full days on the White Continent. I mentioned we include three nights in cosmopolitan Buenos Aires. A lot of people have compared it to the Paris of the Southern Hemisphere or called it the Paris of the Southern Hemisphere. It's very beautiful, a lot of culture, a lot of good food, wine, um, and the people are just marvelous. Some of the highlights you would experience on this journey, uh, whale encounters, the wildlife viewing is just spectacular. We'll be crossing the Drake Passage, the famous Drake Passage, and in, inside the Antarctic Circle. This itinerary also goes to the famed Falklands Islands and South Georgia Islands, which add a few more extra days at sea, um, but well worth the end result to visit the Falkland Islands, which to say are disputed or were, this, were, this, were disputed at one point. Um, and now a British territory. You can see some beautiful penguins, baby seals, and so on that are very typical animals and wildlife that one would see on this type of itinerary. Everybody's second favorite itinerary or Antarctica is our Antarctic Grandeur, an expedition from Ushuaia to Buenos Aires. This itinerary carries a maximum of 124 guests on this itinerary. We have only two departures with limited availability. Again, three included nights in Buenos Aires, two, two on one end and one on the other end of the itinerary. We include round trip airfare between Buenos Aires and Ushuaia at the end of uh, Tierra del Fuego. So we are cutting the amount of time um, sailing at sea down. So we're literally crossing from Ushuaia across the Drake Passage over the Antarctic Circle, making some typical stops that we would do in Antarctica. Some sample stops would be Half Moon Island, Deception Island, Wilhelmina Bay, Neko Harbor, uh, to name but a few. Um, a lot of the destinations within Antarctica are unfortunately dictated solely by the weather. Um, and the landings on each day would be dictated by the weather as well, but landings on every single day that we would be in Antarctica. Again, with some optional ex extensions to Iguazu Falls, Brazil, or Easter Island and Santiago, Chile. Some of the highlights you would expect to see on this particular itinerary is a full seven days in Antarctica. And with the full seven days, we have daily landings on the White Continent. We have 15 Zodiacs that cover 12 passengers per Zodiac. So at any one time, 100 guests are only permitted to land from one particular vessel onto Antarctica. So some passengers would travel in the morning, some would travel in the afternoon and vice versa to flip um, to allow for the guests to make sure that everybody gets a landing on every single day. We, I talked about the pre and post nights in Buenos Aires. Again, settling before the voyage, 
uh, south to Antarctica. A lot of whale encounters on this itinerary, wildlife viewing, and a very popular sailing of the Drake Passage. And this um, photo here at the bottom of the beautiful sunset is from one of my colleagues who, who sailed on this itinerary just this past year, pre-COVID, um, and took this beautiful, beautiful photo um, for the presentation today. So this is an exciting itinerary as well for somebody who perhaps may not have as much time as the first Antarctica itinerary, but would love to visit this final continent that not many people have the luck um, and the good fortune to visit in a lifetime. Moving north, uh, so these were our Antarctic itineraries, and moving north to the Arctic itineraries, the other end of the world, the other end of the planet, <laughs> the other pole, uh, we have our itinerary, the Majestic North, which encompasses Greenland and Iceland. Again, another expedition itinerary, some less traveled places. Uh, Greenland um, is a short skip of a flight from Iceland, but our cruises travel between uh, Iceland and Greenland with a one-way flight back. Uh, whichever direction you're going. This itinerary operates in both directions in 2022. It's an 18-day or 17-night itinerary that includes some nights in Reykjavik on either end. So again, you can arrive, get refreshed before you get on board the ship and sail up to Greenland um, or in the itinerary that op operates in the other direction, uh, overnighting in Iceland flying up to Greenland and then sailing back to Iceland. But both itineraries do take you over the Arctic Circle, inside the Arctic Circle, which again, a very, very few people have the good fortune to travel on, on such exciting itineraries like this. Uh, we have a massive 23 included features on this itinerary, almost unheard of in uh, small ship polar expedition itineraries. Some of the highlights that one would see on this itinerary, crossing the Arctic Circle. Um, we spend a full day exploring and sailing and traveling by Zodiac in the Prince Christian Sound um, in Greenland. We also traverse Iceland's Golden Circle area, a lot of waterfall and geyser visits, and many, many cultural connections, particularly in Greenland. Um, where we have a lot of uh, indigenous villages that are visited and um, a very, very beautiful area of the world that we're looking forward to spending some time there. And who can forget or ignore the beautiful Icelandic horses um, with the fancy hair? Um, we also visit a horse farm while we are traveling around Iceland as well. So this part of the itinerary I look forward to in September. Um, when we go on our first voyage through this region, we will be tying up some um, last details for 2022, some exciting um, bits and pieces for us to do as we move forward with our product development team. If full Greenland and Iceland is not this trip for you, we also have a Reykjavik to Oslo itinerary, our Arctic Wonders itinerary. This trip uh, starts from Reykjavik. It sails to the Westman Islands, or Jaime, uh, just off the coast of Iceland, not too far, sailing down to the Faroe Islands, which are a Danish territory, Shetland Islands, Orkney Islands, off the coast of Scotland, uh, across the North Sea to Norway, um, making some ports of call along Norway, down to Gothenburg, and then um, all the way up to Oslo. This particular itinerary does have a multitude of extension opportunities, one of them being the um, magical Oberammergau Passion Play, which is taking place in 2022, um, having been delayed from 2020 due to um, COVID. Um, this takes place every 10 years only, a, a reenactment of the Passion Play in a small town in Germany has occurred every 10 years since the turn of the century, uh, with the exception of once during, um, during the World War. It was postponed for one year there. 
this is a light expedition itinerary, so not our full expedition, uh, full-blown um, zodiac traversing. We are pulling into some larger ports that will not require zodiac traveling, and not requiring tendering, um, and we also include four hotel nights two in Reykjavik at the start of the itinerary and two in Copenhagen at the end, or vice versa. And this takes in five uh, European countries, including some of the smaller, less traveled islands that many people may not have actually ever heard of. Some of the um, adventure highlights that we would see, this itinerary is a photographer's dream. The scenery, the animals, archaeological sites and places like the Orkneys and the Shetland Islands, the magnificent puffin uh, birds to see, a lot of beautiful, beautiful scenery, particularly up in the Faroe Islands. And as you can see, while this is an Arctic itinerary, there does not appear to be any snow here. <laughs> um, this is an itinerary that operates in the months of Ju May, June, July. Um, the weather is pretty reasonable. Um, not to say there wouldn't be, there could not be snow, but this is uh, still an itinerary that has beautiful, beautiful weather at this time. Um, longer days being the summer months and so on and so forth. An itinerary that we're very much looking forward to providing in 2022. Moving along to a combination itinerary, and this itinerary is the Arctic Adventure, Iceland, Greenland, and beyond. This itinerary is perfect for guests that travel one way to Europe and sail all the way back. The, trip, the itinerary either starts or finishes in Reykjavik, Iceland, and sails back to Montreal, or starts in Montreal and sails across the Atlantic finishing in Iceland. This also has a maximum of 124 travelers. It's a 19-day itinerary or 18 nights, 17 included features, and again with four nights um, to acclimatize yourself, either two nights on the front in Montreal and two in Iceland on the other end, or vice versa. This would allow our guests to um, travel not just to, to Iceland, the Westman Islands, but to Greenland. Again, visiting beautiful, beautiful parts of uh, an untouched country, and then sailing down into Newfoundland. Uh, Woody Point, beautiful scenery there as well. Another area that, while it's close to where most of us are now, um, maybe this is the perfect opportunity to visit somewhere that's close by that you perhaps didn't ever think of, of traveling to. Um, the Orkneys and Shetland Islands again. Faroe Islands, the Westman Islands, perhaps a little excursion out to the Blue Lagoon, um, which is what we're looking at there, um, or maybe even taking in a reindeer farm in Greenland, something perhaps not many of us would ever have considered doing, or even in our wildest dreams, uh, considered visiting. Moving forward, as promised, I would like to give you a first glance at some itineraries that we have coming in 2023. We are in the process of um, offering all of our 2023 itineraries in the coming weeks. Some of them are actively open for sale already. You may have already received um, our first announcement emails encouraging you to um, grab your spot before some of them sell out very quickly because we do anticipate uh, due to popular demand and also the small size of our vessels that some of these itineraries will sell out very, very quickly. The first itinerary I'd like to give you a glimpse at is our icons of the Mediterranean, Italy, Sicily, and Croatia. This itinerary will have a maximum capacity of 139 guests. This we would treat as one of our cultural discovery itineraries. We would visit Italy, Croatia, the island of Sicily, and the island of Malta in the Mediterranean. We have some optional extensions to Florence, Italy. Maybe you like um, a lot of Renaissance art, 
um, museums, um, gold purchasing, a lot of beautiful, beautiful things to do around Florence. And on the other end of the itinerary, we have an optional extension to Stresa and the Italian lakes. This itinerary also um, visits Venice at the end of the trip or the start, um, where you can just imagine um, the trips on the gondolas to the canals and so on, a beautiful, beautiful itinerary that due to popular demand, we have brought back um, for our guests to travel on the Ocean Odyssey in 2023. This itinerary is, of course, open for sale already, so grab your space while we still have uh, availability. Another very popular itinerary in 2023 is our European uh, southern coast, Italy, France, Monaco, and Spain. This itinerary not just visits those destinations, but also visits the island the islands of Corsica, Sardinia, of, uh, in the Mediterranean, Corsica being, of course, French, Sardinia being um, the Italian island, uh, spending some time along the French Riviera, uh, Monaco, and Monte Carlo, um, finishing in Barcelona and starting from Rome or vice versa. Again, we have some exciting extensions to Sorrento, Italy, or Madrid, Spain. This itinerary is also available for sale at the moment. Moving on to two exciting itineraries that we are currently offering pending reservations for and will be announced open, fully open for sale in the coming weeks. A Northern European voyage traveling from Reykjavik to Dublin. We'll just have two departures only um, in 2023, uh, visiting Iceland, Denmark, Scotland, Belfast, finishing in Dublin. We have some beautiful extensions on this itinerary too, to extend your stay in Reykjavik, Iceland, or extend your stay at Caber Castle in Kings Court County Cabin in Ireland. It's a magnificent itinerary that I'm very much looking forward to, um, traveling home to Ireland to visit my family. Um, this itinerary will be um, our first port of call, um, first trip to Ireland on board our ocean vessel. So I'm most excited about this. Um, again, limited to 139 guests. It's a light expedition itinerary. Um, so docking in larger, larger ports, um, not necessarily needing to zodiac um, around, which is which can be a little daunting for some people, but very relaxed and um, excuse me, uh, very relaxed with only two departures uh, in the summer of 2023. Again, open for pending reservations. And finally, our exciting itinerary for 2023. We have just one departure on this itinerary of castles and cliffs, circumnavigating Ireland and beyond. This will have one departure on June 6th of 2023. And this will coincide with um, the James Joyce Day or Bloom's Day, as it's more commonly known in Ireland, uh, June 16th. Limited to 139 guests visiting Ireland and Wales with some optional extensions in Edinburgh, Scotland, or Caber Castle in Ireland. Again, taking pending reservations. This itinerary circ circumnavigates the whole Ireland, island of Ireland and stops in Wales um, in Fishguard or Hollyhead en route around the island. This is an exciting itinerary that we put together uh, for 2023 as well, um, coinciding with um, the celebration of James Joyce in June. But with that being said, we have an exciting announcement to make. Um, on our last webinar, for those of you who attended, we did uh, make our announcement on our annual president's trip for 2022, which uh, following the success of our last webinar, did that trip has already sold out. So we have gone ahead to announce our president's trip for 2023. And we have designated one departure of our circumnavigation of Ireland and beyond, the Castles and Cliffs itinerary. Uh, one departure in May, we will have a limit of 135 guests on this, 
We will have some tailored entertainment um, for the gala events. We will have a gala dinner at a castle in Kinvara County, Galway. We're going to drive the wild Atlantic Way, a visit to the Skellig Islands off the coast of County Kerry, some visits to UNESCO sites and the Giants Causeway. Um, again, optional extensions to both Edinburgh or Caber Castle. Beautiful, beautiful itinerary um, that I am most excited to welcome people on and have them travel uh, to my homeland. Um, be the first to reserve this trip because we are um, accepting pending reservations for those of you joining our webinar today. Um, it will go open to the general public in uh, just a few more weeks. But um, today, as some of our preferred guests, I would extend you the opportunity to reserve your spot on this itinerary for 2023. And thank you, Doug, for now. And Deirdre, thank <laughs> you so, you. so much. I do greatly appreciate that very, very insightful look into not only some of those expedition trips here, but of course, some of those very exciting 2023 trips Again, if uh, whether it be open for sale or for pending reservations, as, as alluded to here, as we navigate this post-COVID world here that we currently find ourselves in, of course, there has been a remarkable pent-up demand, as we know. And uh, we're remarkably, of course, excited on that President's Club trip here uh, for 2023. And I really appreciate your time. And of course, folks, I uh, do want to uh, you know inform, as alluded to here, we have some remarkable uh, prizes and incentives for all of our preferred webinar attendees here today. We do greatly appreciate y'all all taking some time to go ahead and uh, you know learn a little bit more about where we're heading, what we're doing, and all the new places that we'll be sailing with. And of course, with that all being said, we have remarkable offers for our webinar attendees and or any family or friends here that any of you wish to bring along here. Remarkably thrilled to announce here that for any ocean explorer or ocean odyssey, any new reservation for 2022 uh, aboard the ocean explorer ocean odyssey be entitled to a $500 per person discount off any new reservation for 2022 here, making sure that you utilize the code when reserving D is in Delta, C is in Charlie, zero zero. In addition to that, we are very excited to also as well provide $250 off here per person of any new reservation for 2022 or 2023, whether that be any of our rivers, land, or any of our small ship trips. That is going to go ahead any non-explorer or non-ocean odyssey trip here, $250 uh, simply for going ahead and joining us, spending this quality time on this afternoon here. Again, utilizing the code D as in Delta, C as in Charlie, 0021. Now that is going to have a uh, book by date here, starting today and ending on June 10th. So June 10th is the uh, the final book by date on that. Now, last but not least, I am remarkably thrilled here. The folks on the other side of the business, uh, you know, they have uh, seen some of these webinars and we have seen some of these responses. Uh, now, $1,000 off per person off any highlighted seven sensational itineraries here. The judge will go through here in just a moment. The book buy is June 10. Utilizing that code, D is in Delta, C is in Charlie, 0021. Now that right there is for these seven itineraries that Deirdre will highlight here in just one moment. All right, all of these uh, offers here, all particular, depending on where you uh, where you end up going here with us. And the Ocean Explorer and the Ocean Odyssey, $500 per person. Anything other than Ocean Explorer, Ocean Odyssey, $250 off any 22 or 2023 new reservation. And for these seven sensational itineraries here, $1,000 off here per person. So I'll go ahead and uh, bring it right back here to Deirdre to go through those seven here. 
Thank you, Doug. Yes, we have some exciting itineraries that we do have a few cabins available at the end of 2021. So if you are like me, just itching to get back on the road and just see something different, something other than the inside of my um, house uh, or sh garden shed, uh, maybe some of these, maybe some of these itineraries are for you. We have a trip from Rio de Janeiro to Buenos Aires, a trip uh, around South America. We have a 16 day or 15 night itinerary, 22 included features. Again, optional excursions, optional extensions to Iguazu Falls or Santiago, Chile. These itineraries travel to Argentina, Brazil, Uruguay, Montevideo, Uruguay. Uh, we have one departure in early December in 2021. And the second departure we have on this itinerary is in February of 2022, both of which, as uh, Doug talked about, um, are applicable with this special offer, $1,000 per person off either one of these sailings. Our second highlighted uh, trip is our heart of the Brazil and the Amazon, Manaus to Rio de Janeiro. Again, a trip down the Amazon River all the way down to Manaus. Uh, hugging the coast of Brazil, Fortaleza, Salvador, all the way down to Rio. Again, extending your stay on either end, either at um, an Amazon Jungle Lodge in the Eco Park just outside of Manaus or Iguazu Falls in Brazil. We have also one departure in late November. Perhaps you'd like to just get away over Thanksgiving with one departure then again in February of 2022. Both of these itineraries applicable with the special offer today. The third itinerary we have is deep into the Amazon, Brazil, Colombia, and Peru. Um, this is an itinerary, an expedition itinerary. So the number of maximum travelers on this itinerary is a lot less. It's a 14 day itinerary or 13 night. Um, both of these itineraries travel in March of 2022. And these are one of my personal favorite itineraries because this gives you the opportunity to extend your journey and travel to Machu Picchu. So if you notice my, my photo at the very beginning of this, of this uh, webinar today was the very first time I traveled to Machu Picchu. It had been top of my bucket list for many, many, many years. And I finally got to go there uh, about seven years ago when I cruised on the Amazon River and also extended my stay to travel to Machu Picchu. Uh, the fourth itinerary we have is something just a slightly closer to home, a Nassau to Manaus itinerary. So Nassau in the Bahamas, traveling through some warm weather uh, destinations, Barbados, St. Kitts, the Dominican Republic, Martinique, uh, traveling down through French Guiana, into Brazil. This uh, again, we have one departure at the end of 2021 in November and one departure in March of 2022. Both of these itineraries uh, we do have applicable with the discount the $1,000 per person off on these itineraries. A nice warm itinerary, warm weather itinerary as we head south uh, for the winter months in the northern hemisphere, but the summer months in the southern hemisphere. Uh, second to last, we have an itinerary that starts here in Boston, uh, charting the eastern seaboard, colonial America, and cultural capitals from Boston down to Nassau, stopping in Martha's Vineyard, uh, Provincetown, Newport, Rhode Island, New York City, uh, Colonial Williamsburg, Wilmington, North Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina, a beautiful, beautiful itinerary. Again, an itinerary that perhaps you never consider traveling on, even though you are living here in the US, some of these may be destinations that you would like to travel to that are not too far afield. Again, one departure in November of 2021 and one departure in early March of 2022. Both of these um, itineraries are applicable with, with the discount today. And finally, we have one itinerary, one departure of our Canada Spring Awakening, Boston to Montreal, um, following the Canadian government's decisions to close the sailing waters around Canada due to uh, COVID this year. They will be reopening in the new year. 
and we will be ready to sail around Canada. This itinerary has just one, night, one, one itinerary, one departure from Boston to Bar Harbor, Maine, over to Halifax to Nova Scotia, all the way up and around to travel down the St. Lawrence Seaway down to Montreal, Quebec City. This is a cultural discovery itinerary, uh, 14 nights or 15 days. So a nice two week itinerary, if you would just like a little break in the spring with a fabulous number of 18 included features on this itinerary. This also applicable on our uh, sensational offer today. And finally, um, Doug, we have one departure, our North American waterways, uh, St. Lawrence and the Great Lakes. This is one limited departure on the 6th of May in 2023 that has, um, I'm sorry, 2022. <laughs> 139 passengers, 17 days or 16 nights, a massive 26 included features and five cultural discoveries. This itinerary is sailing from Montreal all the way down to Toronto through Lake Ontario, like Gary, down to Cleveland, Detroit, all the way up through all of the, um, the Great Lakes and encompassing the St. Lawrence Seaway as well. This is an itinerary that can be combined with the itinerary sailing all the way to spring uh, from Boston all the way up to Montreal. And this one departure date is available for sale with this um, $1,000 offer. We do have other departure dates available on this itinerary. Um, but they would just have the other um, smaller amount of a discount on there. So I would love to see many of you, if not all of you, uh, take advantage of this and join us um, on some of these itineraries in the new year. Uh, I, I think I mentioned on more than one occasion that I am just bagged, packed, ready to go. And I look forward to meeting many of you on the road as we um, embark on this new adventure with our new vessel. So thank you for your attention on these. And back to you, Doug. Thank you so, so much here, Deirdre. And uh, I must say, truly, uh, what an insightful here recap into so many different uh, new upcoming itineraries, as well as some of these, uh, these itineraries that are coming up in fairly short order here on the Explore and the Odyssey. Uh, folks, uh, I do greatly, greatly appreciate each and every one of you here uh, for joining us and spending some quality time here today. Of course, I do want to mention a couple other things of great importance. Uh, first and foremost, uh, within 24 hours uh, from this very moment, you'll be receiving an email from me personally uh, that will go ahead and provide you the survey that will enable you to enter in for the $1,000 future travel credit contest here. So all you have to do is just respond to that survey. It'll go to a link, uh, simply enter in the information. There should be just a couple of questions in there. You'll be all set and squared away. Again, as far as any of those discounts, $500 per person off any new reservation for the Ocean Explorer Ocean Odyssey here for 2022. $250 off per person for any 22 or 2023 new reservation. And of course, those $1,000 per person off on those seven sensational itineraries here that were just highlighted uh, towards the end. Of course, uh, again, utilizing that PO, or that print order code there of D is in Delta, C is in Charlie, 0021. That will all be in that recap email that I send you. And of course, as well, we will be highlighting uh, some of our contacts here, um, you know, in, in different ways to get in touch with us, uh, whether that be our inbound sales department, our referral specialist uh, who specifically specializes in going ahead, uh, enabling uh, not only you, but of course your friends as well uh, to make a, make a couple of dollars here. Um, when referring folks here to Vantage, who also will then get a disc, an additional discount uh, for whenever they make their new trip. Or whether that be our groups department, uh, specifically uh, Cheryl here, uh, here, who's been at Vantage for quite some time. Um, all, all great folks, and they will definitely all be uh, placed in that email on how to contact, who to contact, so on and so forth. 
Well, folks, once again, it has been an absolutely remarkable pleasure uh, to have you here today, and I appreciate each and every single one of you for attending. I hope all is well, and we look forward to having you on board here soon. Thank you so much. Thank you all.